Hey you all, so I recently completed Bowser's Fury. I'm now going to try and get Bowser to respawn so I can defeat him again. If you go over to where Bowser normally spawns, you can see that he's not there. Let's go over there properly. So supposedly he will respawn eventually, it just takes quite a long time. So let's have a look around the island while I wait. Just going to swim around and mess about a bit. So maybe try getting a few of the cat shines again as well. Like this one here. Sure I can do that again. I've already done it once before. Here we go. Oh no, I've drifted off a bit. There we go, let's go quickly. Let's get that shine. Where is it there? One second left there. Perfect. Brilliant. Well, right, what else can I do? Let's capture the rabbit. Or attempt to capture the rabbit as the rabbit runs away at a super fast speed. Oh no, I'm getting closer. I'm getting closer. Come on, rabbit. I like that you can redo all the challenges in the game. What? What happened? Oh, okay. That didn't really work, did it? Right, we're nearly there. Oh, there we go. Brilliant. Okay, that's the rabbit shine done again. So let's have a look near the centre now, and you can see there's something happening. There's very much something happening. I think Bowser may be respawning. Oh, there we go. It takes a bit of time after you've defeated him with a hundred shines from to start respawning, but there he is. So now I just need to wait and wait for quite a long time until he comes out of that black, whatever that is. Still as bad and as dangerous as ever, of course. Yeah, I'm going to get back a bit. So there's the giant cat bell that I will be fighting Bowser at. I just need to wait a bit until he actually spawns. So there we go, he's nearly there. The spikes will go red in a minute, and then you'll know that Bowser's going to respawn and attack. There we go, there's the spikes that have gone red. Now the rain will start in a minute. So the end boss has quite a bit more health than any of the other previous times you fight Bowser, the proper end boss should I say. Also, the second part of the battle is considerably harder than the Bowser battle with 50 sh shines. So here we go anyway. Bowser is now spawning. Let's go ahead and go into the bell, or grab the bell. Now 
Now we're going to defeat Bowser again. Well, hopefully anyway, unless I mess this up. Right, here we go. So it's Giant Mario versus Giant Bowser. And yeah, if you fight him again, he has that blue health bar that he had before. So this is going to be quite a long battle. The strategies I use, the first strategy is to grab one of these and throw it at him. Second strategy, if you do take damage, make sure you get one of the cat bells. So you throw it at him and then falls over, then just ground pound. Like so. That takes off quite a bit of health actually. Give you a quick, you can actually grab another one of these. And just repeat the process. He's doing this attack now, so just beware of the rings that come out of his attack. That's the most dangerous part of this. Plus I won't be able to throw the block at him now. See what he does. Okay, he's firing off those blocks again, so I'm going to grab one of those and try and throw it at him. Okay, he's going to do fireballs now. Fires those bombs or whatever they are. So that was an absolutely terrible shot. Missed him completely, so probably best now to try and grab another one. I was doing the fire beam. That can be quite easily avoided just by jumping over it. There we go. Eat that, Bowser. Right, let's go and ground pound on him again. Smash! Right, so we're just under halfway into the battle. He's firing off those rocks again, so I'm going to try and get another hit on him. Do that weird spin attack. Okay, I can't really see where Bowser is very well. I'm still alive, let's go in for the kill. Here we go. Get another hit on him, like so. Nice, brilliant, okay. I think I can grab another one of these now and try again. Let's get Bowser in view. I might best get another quick hit off of him before he does anything else. No, okay, it didn't work. Okay, again, the rings, the dangerous part of this attack. And get that hit. Oh, just on the corner of his shell. So yeah, so not an especially difficult battle. It just takes quite a long time to win. I'm going to grab one of these and try to throw it at him. In that weird shell attack again. Oh, well that was a rather lucky hit. I didn't even see Bowser. I managed to smash him with the rock. Or whatever you want to call it. I don't know what they are. Right, okay, let's grab another one. I might hit him quickly. Oh yeah, look at that. Eat that, Bowser. So one more hit to get off on him. Let's be really quick. Grab another one of these and try and smash him with it before he gets up. There we go. I don't know if the lava can do damage there, but I've defeated Bowser without taking a hit. However, the chance of me doing the second section without taking a hit is virtually 0%. Some of the attacks are almost impossible to avoid. There goes Bowser exploding and then reappearing in a minute. You may have noticed that Bowser Jr. has changed a little bit as I have already beaten the game. He's now more like a cat Bowser Jr. Here comes Bowser again then, for the next part of the fight. So this is definitely the hardest fight in the game. You may need quite a few items to get through this. I oh, know I did on my first attempt. Here we go. Basically just a chase sequence. So here we go. You shrunk back down as well. The entire strategy for this is to just keep chasing him round, basically. 
and avoid his attacks. So one strategy you can use to avoid the attacks is to dive underneath the water. When he's firing all this though, it's quite hard to avoid it all. Well, it can be quite hard to avoid it all. You go to the side. Bear in mind you have to be quite quick, otherwise you won't be able to get the hit out. And you have to actually jump as well, which I didn't do. Yeah, the fire bar, you can sort of duck underneath the water, dive underneath. That's relatively easy to avoid. The other attack that way fires out all those blocks is not that easy to avoid. Oh, here we go. I might want to get a hit out now. There we go. Smash. Right into Bowser. Perfect. So I managed to avoid the fireballs. That's pretty good going. Okay, that's a bit dangerous. Yeah, there's no way I could really avoid that. So that happens quite a bit during the battle. You have walls of those blocks that come at you and they're just so hard to avoid. Unless you go to the side, which slows you right down, you kind of have to take damage. This is where it's important to have a lot of items, basically. Oh! Perfect. Okay, that's the second hit. Now I'm going to go for my third hit. Well, hopefully anyway. Okay, so he's doing the fire bar. That's easy to avoid. Just duck underneath the water. And then the attack that's really hard to avoid. Look how many there are. I mean, you have to kind of go to the side. We can't really avoid them. So yeah, again, just keep using items, basically. Easy way to get through the battle. That's the strategy I use anyway. As long as you stocked up on items before starting this shouldn't have too many problems. I mean, it can be done. You can avoid the attack, but you have to go to the side and that slows you down. I think you have to sort of go over here. Let's keep using those bells. Keep chasing Bowser around the map. This is considerably harder than the earlier version of the battle. Again, I guess you could duck underneath it all. The easiest way to do it though is to just keep using items. You have to be careful that you don't die because you forget to use the item. Okay, I only need to get one hit out now anyway. I mean, look at all that. I managed to avoid all of that somehow. Oh, there we go. This is it. Bells to the chest. Now I've defeated Bowser and have this rather strange part here. Quite funny, but yeah. It's slightly weird. Yeah. You got owned, Bowser. Yeah, that's quite a fun end boss. It's not especially difficult as you can use items over and over again, but it's definitely one of the more interesting Bowser battles. Right, so there we go. Let's sit through the ending quickly. I'm not going to sit through the credits. I'm going to skip through that. In case you've not actually seen it, the ending yet. So Bowser gets stuck. Bowser tries to attack Mario. That's about it, really. Not much else. You have this extra bit as well for getting 100 shines. can skip this by the way in case you haven't already seen. I'll skip the next part. You may have noticed that 
Cat Bowser Jr. is now in the ending. Also, Mario is slightly different. You may have noticed in the cat suit. He's got this weird hair now. That's pretty cool. It's just a shame there's not anything else to do after 100 shines. Most other newer Mario games have a bit more to do, but then again, this is sort of a side game to 3D World, so to speak, so... Anyway, there's a bit of cool artwork. Right, let's resume. I have two different save files. I'll go and load the top one. There we go, we're back. And once again... Bowser will have disappeared for a while. I'll go and teleport. Teleport nearer so I can have a look. He won't spawn again for a while, but when he does, I can go and take on the end boss again, which is pretty cool. I just took a hit from that because I was talking too much. And there we go. I think that's going to be the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed watching that. That's my run at the end boss. The second part is very hard not to take damage. The first part's relatively straightforward though once you've learnt how to beat it. If you did enjoy this video, leaving a like and subscribing to the channel is always appreciated. Thank you to those that have already subscribed. There's a few other videos for various other Mario games on the screen as well. Feel free to check those out if you want to do so. And thanks for watching.